11 versus iPhone SE 2022. Let's get into it. Is the iPhone 11? Is the iPhone SE 2022, third gen? So here's the back. Now we got the black model for the iPhone 11 and for the iPhone SE 2022 we actually have the product red model I do have the black model but not on me right now I'm recording on it actually not the third gen but second gen but I'm gonna be getting the third gen black model or starlight whatever they want to call it so yeah um different colors I mean I do like how premium the red looks I like that dark Nice red compared to the older red. Let me grab the older red. Here's the old red. So old red is going to be on the right, new red is going to be on the left. As you see, it's a darker, nicer red. I just like it. And also, this. I don't know if she looks the same, but there's those two different shades. And the top's the new one, and the bottom's the old one. Yeah, I like the newer one better. But, people may like the older one better. The older design. It's just up to personal preference. Alright. And here is it with a clear case on, the older one. So just keep that in mind, keep that in your brain. And I just want to show you the newer red. With the same case. So yeah, keep that in your head. Pretty nice. Now, the SE 2022 is my daily driver, um, because why not? Um, but let me go into some pros and some cons. Okay, never mind, scratch that. We're just gonna go. Which one's better? So, first of all, starting with the camera category. Well, just take a look at these. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two... One, which camera looks bigger? Which camera looks better? It would take more photos, take better depth. From the back, at least. It's the iPhone 11, obviously. The iPhone SE is one tiny pinhole camera. Well, the iPhone 11 has two pretty good sized cameras. But, there are some differences. Okay, so the 11, we hop into the camera here. The 11 records in 4K at 60 frames per second. And if we take it for the iPhone SE 2022, <clears throat> the back camera records 4K at 60 frames per second also. So what do you mean? What's the difference? <clears throat> so, the photos. <clears throat> So, sorry I'm doing that, but, what's this? This doesn't have that. Where is it? I don't see that anywhere. But, there's an option for it on the iPhone SE. What? Yeah. Look, look at all these options compared to this. Which is still a lot, but this is a new option on the iPhone SE 2022. This wasn't on the 2020. Let me grab the 2020. Right over. Where did I put this? In? Oh, no, it's the. Forgot. But that's not on the iPhone SE 2020. That's not on the iPhone 11. It's on the 13s, though, and the 14s. It's a new feature, but it's not even on the 12s. It's called portrait lighting effect. Oh, no, not portrait. Oh, st photographic styles. So, this is just like an Instagram filter or whatever. 
but it actually edits the photo for you. So standard is just your standard picture. Then you have rich contrast, which turns the tone down to negative 50 and puts the warmth on zero. Then we have vibrant, which turns the tone plus 50 and warmth zero. Then we have warm, which I like, which has the tone on zero, but the warmth on 50. I like that one. And then we have cool, which is tone zero and warmth negative 50. I'm going to put this on warm just to use it um, and use all of its features. So we got portrait lighting effects on here and on the 11. Unfortunately, we don't, but we do have filters that we can turn on if we want. We have warm right there. But it is not the same. But you can tune it after you take the video. I meant photo. It does not work on video. And we're going to record a video. So let's do it now. This is 4K60 on the iPhone SE 2022. See that focusing and everything? How is the microphone? How is the microphone? Let's do some zoom action. Pretty nice. No ultra wide on this one though. And this is on the iPhone 11. So how's the microphone sounding? Get some focus. Bam. Let's get some zoom action. And let's go ultra wide. Right now, this is in 4K60 also. So, let's go. Oh, can't go ultra wide. So let's start the video and go on ultra wide. And this is the ultra wide camera in 4K60. Nice! So well, that was a little bit of the camera comparison. Now we're not gonna go into full detail on everything because I don't want to make this a million years. But this one's really important to me. And this is why I kind of like the iPhone better. The, the SE. The size and weight. So this one is a fairly big and heavy device. Now, no, it's not up to android standards where it's like so bulky you could barely hold it huge <laughs> like this moto g power but it it's a I, I like small phones that can go in your pocket easily you know and i just think that the se takes the cake with a 4.7 inch display we can't go wrong i mean this is pretty heavy. I wouldn't like this in my pocket all day. It, it definitely fits in your pocket fine, but I wouldn't like this heavy thing in my pocket all day. And I just don't like heavy big phones like this. But that's not the personal preference, you know. The iPhone SE here, very lightweight device. I don't mind this in my pocket at all. Very small, 4.7 inch display. Fits in your pocket easily, very light. Doesn't You don't even notice it's in there. So, that definitely takes cake. I love the, the, like, the small form factor. That's why I buy the SE. They're cheap. They got a home button, which we'll talk about in a minute. And they're nice and small and lightweight. Yeah. And they still feel premium. They still have that Apple feel. And I actually think they kind of look better. They're cute. The back, at least, but there's that. Let's go on to the next comparison. Thickness. So, again, I don't like how the iPhone 11 is so thick. Now, all phones are, are like this. The iPhone 12, the iPhone 14, even thicker. I don't, I'm not really a fan of that. I, I like something real lightweight. Carry around, you know. And that's a thing. I, 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 another thing I like about the SE and even the 11, the curves, edges. I just love it. I don't like the boxy edges because they just dig in their skin. This is nice. I like it. So I like that. But anyways, this is pretty thick right here, as you can see. I, I, it's, it doesn't really bother me, but I, I'm not a fan of that. Look at how thin this is. You know, Apple back in the day used to make the thinnest phones, Ben Gate, but I like how thin and nice this is. So, again, I like the SE better for that. But let's get in the stuff I like better for the 11. 
Now, this is kind of a pro and a con, the notch. I kind of like the notch, don't get me wrong. Um, face ID works, works almost every time. It's flawless, it's really nice. I like the transition. I like how you can tap the screen to wake it up. I just like the notch, I like the swipe down. It's nice. And I actually think it looks modern, you know? But the SE here has these thick bezels. Now, I kind of like the thick bezels. Don't get me wrong. I like it. It adds some character to the phone and nostalgia. And I like to see, like, a phone with this size of bezels running the latest iOS and being this fast with the A15 Bionic chip just blazing through everything you can push at it while keeping the older design. I just love that. One thing I like better on the 11, there's no tap to wake. You actually got to tap the home button. This one, you can just tap it and it'll wake up. Because there's no home button, obviously. But, yeah, I just, I kind of like it. I mean, this is such fast phone. It looks, oh, this came out in 2017. But, no, it had an A15 Bionic, wireless charging. We'll get into more of that later. But, yeah, I, I kind of like the bezels. They're all right. Um, next thing is the Touch ID and the Face ID. Okay. So, wow, this is real simple. So, Face ID. Look at it. Swipe up. I'm behind the camera. But there, swipe up. Works. Scans your face. Cool. All right. This... Don't have to look at it. You just scan your fingerprint. Fast, easy, simple. Now let's try that a little bit differently. I have sunglasses on. Let's see if it still unlocks. No. Oh, there we go. Still works with sunglasses. Pretty cool. Now I got a fake mask on. Let's see. Doesn't unlock. Doesn't unlock. So, looks like... That's busted. Doesn't work with masks. It does work on the 14 and the 13, but not on the 11. This, huh, I could put the glasses and mask on. It'll still work. But that's not fair. So let's put some water on the uh, fingerprint sensor and see what happens. My finger is kind of wet. Let's see. Not soaking wet, but it's wet. Yeah, and it's starting to lock. So you're obviously going to wipe it. Then it'll unlock. But that's still crazy. You can have a mask on during these times here. I'm not even going to say it. You're going to be wearing masks all the time. So, if I, if I, you're going to have to enter your passcode. It's not fun. One thing that I will give the 11 is battery life. So, over here, we got a big battery. I'm not sure the milliamps is probably like. 3,000 or something, but this one is 2,000, and it doesn't last long, but it's a small phone, it's thin, you know, all these things I'm saying, oh, this one's so big, this one's so thick, this one can't fit in your pocket, this one's so heavy, that's because of the bigger battery, so with this thin, lightweight, and sleek, nice, thin device, design there are some compromises but i can live with those 20 watt charging so they both support 20 watt charging but what advantage to the iphone se 2022 is the data speeds so over here on the se 2022 we are getting 5g oh let's go we're getting 5g U.S. Cellular's 4G networks aren't the greatest, to be honest. But with 5G turned on, I've been getting great speeds. Now, right here, I only have two bars, but I do have 5G, and I have it on 5G Auto. One thing to put it on when in settings, there's a special mode. So go on the cellular, and then you're going to tap on roaming or cellular data options. And make sure it's on 5G Auto. Nope, not that, nope. 5G auto on voice and data. Or you could turn it on, but that will waste more battery. 
and then go into data mode and press allow more data on 5g if you have unlimited if you don't i would recommend putting on low data mode but i have unlimited data so i put it on that but very nice 5g speeds works great i love that addition and the 11 don't it has 4g lte i think it supports 5g e but that's not real 5g it's just they're calling it 5g but it's mostly a 4g plus so we got real 5g on here it's it's not the um premium 5g it got that sub six but it's 5g and it's better than the 11s 5g e so it is better other advantage is the processor so this um is an apple a13 bionic chip this came out in 2019 it was really fast really nice this is an a15 bionic chip which came out in 2021 really fast fastest chip on the market right still even today they're using it on the 14s 14 pro the a16 was basically the same thing you know what i'm saying this is a lot faster now you won't really think it so as you're doing your casual stuff scrolling through settings texting people calling people googling random stuff taking pictures taking videos it's gonna work fine it's gonna work the same it's gonna be as fast but once you start getting into harder games you start recording longer videos you start recording higher quality videos it will get warm and it will struggle it will start to slow down and as you as you're playing these games load times will get slower and uploading times will get slower you know it's not it's basically the same thing doing simple tasks but once you start getting those tasks um longer doing those tasks longer and um playing games like high powered games you will see the iphone se 2022 shine so since this is a newer chip and a newer phone it will last longer this will last for even 10 years because apple are changing their support a bit this won't last as long but it'll still last pretty long but if you're that kind of person that keeps their phone for like eight or ten years get the se 2022 because you're gonna be pretty mad when it loses support for the 11 you're not gonna get the new features you're not gonna be able to download much apps you're gonna be downloading older stuff and it'll really slow down. Okay, now with water resistance. The iPhone 11 is IP68 water resistance, two meters for 30 minutes. And the iPhone SE 2022 only has IP67 water resistance, one meter for 30 minutes. So that's it. I recommend the iPhone SE if you're gonna be looking for that kind of phone. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. And of course, peace out.